Good morning, year one, and welcome to our four days on fractions. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at recognizing halves and quarters by how they look. But before we do that, we're going to have a go at counting on the sequencing. So I'm going to put up the starter, the first half of it. There's two halves, and I'm going to go through the first half, and then you can have a go at the second half if you want, or you can go straight on to the main part of the lesson. Okay, so have a go at working out the sequences here. What you're trying to do is fill in the missing numbers by counting on. Okay, so off you go. And when you're ready, we'll start going through it. Okay, welcome back, year one. So it goes 10, 11, 12. So the next number must be 13. Then it goes 14, 15, 16. So that sounds right. So then it's 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and all the way up to 25. Now, this next one starts at 20, but it doesn't go 21. It goes 20, 19, 18. So it's going backwards. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Okay, the next one, a bit bigger number. It goes 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Now, you may notice that the top numbers are odd numbers and the bottom numbers are even numbers. We're going up in twos, okay? And here is the second set. If you want to do it and get your grown up to mark it afterwards, that's absolutely fine. And when you're ready, we'll start the main part of the lesson. OK, welcome back. So today you are going to be able to understand that a unit fraction re represents one equal part of a whole. So what we're looking at is equal sections make fractions, which we have done before we did in the first term. But before we start, can you tell your grown-up what a fraction is? You may want to draw an example, or you may want to talk about it. Okay, so a fraction is a part of a whole. And the key thing for it to be a fraction, it needs to be like this. It needs to be half, an equal part of a whole. It can't be... That's not a fraction of a whole because this bottom part is a lot smaller than the top part, okay? And fractions, well, the ones we've practiced look like this, a half, and we're going to be introducing you to a quarter, which you have found, but you may not have seen it written that way before. So to start with, we've got a challenge. I want you to work out which ones of these is a fraction and which one isn't a fraction. Remember, it's got to be an equal part of a whole. So you may want to just point to them, but in a moment I'm going to show you which are which. OK, so here we go. Let's go through them. This one is not a fraction because it is not an equal amount of a whole. So this one would go on the not fraction side. This one, now this one is actually quite tricky, but it is one equal part of four, so that's a fraction. This one is one equal half, as is this one. As is this one. But what about this one? What do you think? I think you're right. It's not a fraction. Well, it's a different shape for a start. Okay, so those are fractions and not fractions. I bet you did that brilliantly. Let's now have a look at the next part of our lesson. Right, now, this is new. And I'm going to show you how we write these fractions. You probably don't know. So what we're saying is we've got one, the first one, it's one part of two. So what about this one? How many parts are shaded? Brilliant, one. And how many parts are there all together? One, two, three. So the, this means one out of them. Mine means out of three. 
Okay, have a go at writing or telling your grown up what that should be. Brilliant. That's one part out of one, two, three, four. This one here is also one part out of four. And this last one, that's quite tricky, is one part. Shall we count out of how many out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? So these have got special names. This first one here is called a half. This next one is called a third. These two are called quarters, and this is called an eighth. Okay. So the next challenge I've got, I want you to decide, I want you to point to your grown-up and say which ones of these can be equally divided into fractions and which ones can't. So which ones are equal? So they are, are they fractions or not, in other words? And when you're ready, start the video again. So, it tells us the circle. So the first one is, is this one. That is a fraction, and that is actually a third. The next one below isn't. Can put a cross there because it's different shapes. This next one is a fraction. It's one part out of five, which has got a special name, which is a fifth. Now, if you look at this next one carefully, it's not. And why is it not? Because that side is smaller than that side. How about this one? Well, they look all the same size, so I think that they are. And that is one part out of six, which we call a sixth. This one, each of these rectangles is the same size, so that's also a fraction. And then this one here, again, they're all the same size, so that's also a fraction. And is each of these shapes the same? I think they are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's one seventh. Brilliant. So that's the first part of our lesson done. And now we're on to the second part. These are the ones that are fractions. I want you to, to actually write what fractions they are. So I'm going to show you how to do the first one. First, you need to say how many coloured parts there are. So there's one coloured part. And then you need to say how many parts are there all together. So there's one, two, three, four. And it's important you count the coloured one as well. So have a go at these other ones, and then we're going to go through them in just a moment. So welcome back. This one is one part coloured out of four parts. This one is one part coloured out of six parts. This one is one part coloured out of three parts. This is one part coloured out of five, and this is one part coloured, we checked earlier, out of seven. Okay, I hope you got those all right. So here is our final challenge of the day. What do you think the fraction is here, the coloured fraction here? And how do you think you write it? Have a go. And then I'm going to show you the first one. And if you want to change your answers, you can have a go at the other ones. So, welcome back for the last part of the lesson. First one, there are two parts coloured. And there are one, two, three parts all together. So, if you didn't get that right, have a think again at these ones. And have a go at changing them or telling your grown up what they are. But if you did, we're going to go through them now. So this is three parts out of six. This is two parts out of four. And this is three parts out of five. And that is the two different ways you can write fractions. OK, and that is the end of today's maths lesson.